is our intro. Hello and welcome to day 6 of my Pride Month art challenge. Today I'm drawing Kirishima from My Hero Academia, or Baku no Hero Academia as some people know it as. Um, this was like one of the first three anime that I have ever watched. Um, I believe it was this one, um, Fullmetal Alchemist, and then I can't remember the other one. I, I don't have the time to think about it because it, it'd probably take a little bit. Um, so Kirishima is definitely one of my favorite characters from that show. Um, I always had canon him as gay. I have no idea why. I guess because I ship him with Bakugo. Yes, I am a Kiri Baku shipper, but I'm not gonna like. I'm not gonna be mean to someone who doesn't ship it. So it's it's all right. So I'm pretty sure everybody knows what the term gay means um, at this point um, in like the world. Um, gay basically means someone who likes the same gender as them. Like, I call myself gay all the time because I love women. Like, women are amazing and I love them very much, so I call myself gay a lot. And I make gay jokes and my, my parents sometimes don't get them. <laughs> Honestly, Kirishima is such like a wholesome a wholesome boy, a wholesome man, which whichever you want to call him. Um, I was honestly a little confused with his character at first, like, cause the whole, like, obsession with manliness, but eventually I just saw it as, like, a comedic thing, because I'm, I'm just like, you know what, he's, he's not, like, promoting toxic masculinity, so it's cool, it's something we can laugh at together. And, um, oh, I haven't seen, like, anything of season 5 yet, I've only watched, like, the first episode, so <laughs> no spoilers, please, I, I need to catch up. I guess I'm like waiting for it all to come out so I can just binge it, but I don't know how much is out right now, so um, I haven't checked since the first episode came out on Hulu. <laughs> um, when I was drawing this, I was thinking about like how weird it was that um, the, the gay men pride flag, which is the flag that I'm using for this, um, it's literally all blues and like, you know, turquoises and stuff, but Kirishima's color palette is primarily red, so it, it was gonna be really weird to like have an inverse of that almost. But I mean, I feel like it worked out in the end. I really like um how the like last like two bands of the flag, instead of being the dark blues, they turned out to they turned into purples and I don't know, I just- because I I like purple. If you couldn't tell by looking at my channel for five minutes, I like purple. Um, and now everybody knows that I like Kirishima as well, platonically. This man is my son. Um, <laughs> he's just a wholesome boy. And I love how, like, um, other than the whole, like, manly- like, obsessed with manliness thing, um, he really does have a good concept of self-improvement, where, like, it doesn't go over the line into, um, you know, like, unrealistic expectations for yourself. He knows where to draw the line, and he def he knows, like, what real strength is, I would say, for sure. He's just- he's a really fun character. I- yeah, he's, like, a definitely a really fun character, and uh, I want to- he and Bakugo need to hold hands. They just need to hold hands. Like, I don't even care. They're probably- <laughs> They're probably not gonna make it canon, but it look it looks canon to me, so it is. Like if I say it, it it's real. If I say it, it's real. That's all there is to it. <laughs> um, I feel like in the anime, some some of my favorite characters, obviously Kirishima, but also um Ida, Jiro, and Yayirozu. Yeah, for sure them. I also love Froppy. Love Froppy. Like, she is so cute, and I love her. Um, okay, since people, like, talk about this a lot whenever they talk about My Hero Academia, um, I do not find Deku annoying, because, like, um, I don't want to sound like a hypocrite if I say, oh, he cries too much, because I cry over a lot of things as well. <laughs> so that would be, like, very hypocritical of me to, like, um, fault him for that. Um... And I, I ship Deku with Uraraka, don't come for me. I, I just like them, they're wholesome. But I also kind of ship Uraraka with Froppy, so I don't know, like, I don't really care which whichever the show goes with, I guess I'll be fine. But like, some people are really intense when it comes to the shipping in the My Hero Academia fandom, that's why everybody calls it so toxic. And um, I'm just over here, like, trying to figure out what the plot is gonna be because i haven't watched this show in a month oh my god but um ooh, season four was really good though i loved Eddie or airy 
however you want to say it. I love her so much. I almost started crying, like spoiler alert, when she finally smiled during the Hero 2 performance. Um, I actually used the music box version of that in this video as like, you know, background music. I also used um, the first opening ever of the anime, The Day from all the way back from season one because oh my god that brings back so many memories for me <laughs> i almost started crying during the first episode because i wasn't accustomed to how like emotional anime was and stuff now i'm a little more like um i don't know immune to it but like it still gets me sometimes um can you believe that like it's only been a few years since <laughs> like um the term like the lgbtq plus community has been like you know um researched and mostly accepted it feels so weird especially now that like i'm starting to come out to my extended family um i hope they're not watching this because <laughs> i hope they're not watching this series because i wanted to talk to them in person myself dang it um, i mean i came out to my grandma on my mom's side so that's a start i really want to come out to um some of my family that live close by to me, so that that will be fun. Can't wait for that to happen. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, I don't know why, but I always saw Kirishima as gay. Like, I have no clue why. It's just like, as soon as I like, as soon as I saw him hanging out with Bakugo, I'm just like, that's a gay man. That's gay. And like, I'm not saying that. Um, like, men can have emotional friendships. Like, they can be vulnerable with their friends as well. Like, I'm not, I'm not saying they can't. But Kirishima is gay to me, and I don't know why. Like, at least for Gundam, I like had reasons as to why I thought he was asexual. But with Kirishima, I'm just like, he's gay and that's it. I don't know <laughs> what made me think this, but he is now gay in my head. Not, not even bi or anything, he's just gay. He likes men. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know, I guess because of his whole thing with manliness and like, you know, he likes men in more than one way, I guess. <laughs> I have no idea why. I just want him to be able to hold hands with Bakugo without him, like, threatening to blow up his face. That's that's all I want. And oh my god, Bakugo? Um, I know people really, really like him, and I mean, at times he can be a com- com um, sorry for that stutter, damn. Um, he's a compelling character at times, but a majority of the time I just find him really annoying and obnoxious, especially because, like, I have sensitive hearing at times and he's just always, like, constantly yelling. Um, <laughs> and also he just, like, refuses to use his words. Despite- despite all the yelling, he refuses to communicate, clearly. Like, it makes no sense. If he would just, like, you know, sit down and talk with Deku, maybe they can come to an understanding instead of him, like, being, hey, nerd, you hate me, don't you? And, and being mad about it. Because, like, if Deku hated Bakugo, he would be fully justified. Honestly. Like, <laughs> Bakugo stops being such, like, a freaking annoying tsundere. I don't- I don't ship Baku Deku, by the way. Um, I don't know, I find it kind of toxic, but I mean, if you do and you like the enemies to lovers trope, I guess you could ship it, I don't really care. Um, anyway. Um, I'm a little over time. I say that every time. Anyway, happy Pride Month. I hope you stay safe and enjoy it, and insert outro.